We started Topspin in 2007, started selling um, music and, and you know, t-shirts and everything else in 2008. Um, and we really used, uh, you know, whether it was our friends or artists that we got introduced to, uh, to, to just kind of guide the way and tell us what they thought the, the software should do. Um, so we've been responding to the needs of the business and the needs of our, of our users since then. We were in private beta for three years. Um, we, had, we had about 5,000 artists using Topspin over the course of that period. Um, we held off from opening broadly because we had more features that we wanted to build. Um, you know, the, the, it's the case with software development that you always build for your users, which is a great thing. Um, but what we didn't want to do was to, to sort of open the front door too early and have, um, you know, and, and be dealing with, you know, large scale problems before we had kind of a finished product. Um, and there's still plenty we want to do to the product, but we really felt like we have a breadth of features um, that made us feel comfortable opening it up more broadly. Uh, we spent last year building um, a couple of features that we really thought the platform needed to be complete. One of them was a ticketing platform. Um, so in addition to being able to sell digital goods and physical goods, whether it's a digital download of, of music or movies or images or whatever, t-shirts, vinyl, of course, you know, box sets, whatever it is you want to sell, um, but also experiential items, selling a ticket, whether it's to a concert or to a listening party or to a VIP room, to anything that you want it to be. Um, and, and that ticketing platform comes complete with a, with a ticket scanner that works on your iPhone. Uh, so we spent part of last year getting that uh, you know, up to snuff. And then we also um, wanted to build a membership product uh, so that you can sell fan clubs or VIP access. Um, and, and we wanted to add that to our product repertoire before we open more broadly. So we, we spent a large part of last year building those things and operating you know, big, big campaigns for everyone from Paul McCartney and George Harrison to Eminem and Linkin Park. Um, and you know, lots and lots and lots of bands that you probably haven't heard of as well. Like I said, about 5,000 bands, you probably only heard of 100 of them. Uh, this year at South by Southwest, we opened it up to everybody. So you can now come to TopsonMedia.com, you sign up, you get an account. Um, we've tried really hard to make the levels uh, um, that people pay really reasonable, 10 bucks a month for Topspin, um, and anything that costs more than that are things that actually cost us money. So we tried to be really fair and give people a lot of value for their money. Um, and uh, it's, it's gone really well so far. We, I'm, I'm really pleased by the use people are getting out of it. Every day I encounter artists I didn't even know were using Topspin who are um, you know, acquiring fans, building awareness, selling, and having success at whatever level and whatever stage of their career they're in. Um, and you know, if Topspin's useful in that way, it, it, it makes us really happy and we really, really, really appreciate everybody who uses it and buys the software which keeps the lights on for us and helps us keep doing what we do.